Hello and welcome to our new weekly Daz Mod product updates. I'm your host Daz, and today we'll talk what's new and exciting happens since our last issue. One thing I'd like to follow up: we discussed last time that uh, HF Supreme is coming with a new mounting mechanism. I still think that all mechanism is better because uh, when you install it, you can use any other kind of block on it uh, without going through the hassle of uh, putting new a mounting system but most of people totally disagree with me and would like to see uh, and use new mounting mechanism and I was asked a lot if it's possible to migrate from old style to new style the answer is yes EK will releasing separate kits uh, which will cost about 12 14 bucks something like this and you can have either silver screws or black screws in a new style so we will get some silver screws pretty shortly and black will be uh, released uh, in a few weeks so if you really hate old style of uh, HM, HF Supreme, Supreme block you can buy the kit and migrate to the new style if it's uh, more appealing for you so another piece of news again from AK that uh, all new GPU blocks coming from AK water blocks will be having slightly different internal chamber design. As you know that uh, AK has a signature wavy uh, fins inside of the blocks that uh, was uh, like m m probably most uh, famous thing about AK and a lot of people liked it but uh, AK decides that uh, the performance is not good enough and they will go into a new style I don't have a block open but this is what it will be so you see it's going through the um, just uh, nar more narrow and large amount of uh, smaller fins it's expected that uh, this uh, will perform better in terms of temperatures also for sure it probably will add a little bit of more restriction because it's uh, the holes is smaller uh, I don't have any hard numbers to tell you yes this will be one degree better or two degree better or maybe this will be none uh, so I don't know what will happening with the actual numbers with the new style how you determine which uh, block is uh, old style or new style you will have additional number uh, sign plus sign at the end of the part number like for example GTX uh, 480 plus so this will be 480 block with a new style of fins and the old uh, style will still okay moving along so I will ask by several people that if we can uh, stock a uh, Cine fans in case when you don't have enough clearance inside of your case so uh, your radiator and fan assembly is uh, too wide or too thick and you, you actually interfere with other parts inside of your computer so we decided to will, will be stock half um, thickness fans which is only 12 millimeters so you, you can see this is a uh, Kazi Juni Slim whatever if I pronounce it correctly but the main characteristic is 120 millimeter fan and uh, but it's only 12 millimeter wide or thick so basically if you run a situation where you already purchased your equipment but you have trouble with fans there is an option that you can uh, a little bit save 12 millimeter of clearance with using by this we decided to pick up the fastest fan possible because uh, most of people uh, have some sort of ways to slow down fans as if it's required so this is a 2000 rpm model and um, it gives you 45 cfm uh, characteristics uh, which is uh, probably equivalent of um, something like 1200 uh, 1300 rpm in 25 millimeter form factor so it's not the top performer but sometimes you have no choice alrighty and the last thing for this week I would like to show you uh, aqua computer Creus block uh, it took us like forever to get that and seems that uh, all Germans has a problem with the timing recently so we ordered it a while ago and uh, 
we still didn't get everything but we got only one block in stock and I just like to show you there's a few things that I really like about this block um, and we will be not talking about characteristics but uh, we'll see how it looks and what I like about it so what is what you have in the box you have a set of screws and mounting mechanism uh, kind of similar to what EK uh, is doing now you also have some uh, thermal paste in the foil uh, PK1 don't know what it is uh, but you have it if you don't have any handy you get your back plate and the uh, actual block itself so it's just manually packed and some bubble wrap so I, I never saw it myself so I'll just uh, open it right in front of you and I would like to see how it looks in person okay alright just got it Oops. Close, cool. Alrighty, finally. Wow, this is heavy. This is thing is heavy. So this is the looks of the block. We got the HF version, which is the highest performance version of this block available. Uh, most expensive too. Look how thick it is. This is huge. What I think like clearance is enough to put a half inch um, compression fittings without any problem, straight ones. This is the back of the block, you have this protective film. So that's how it looks. Um, very nice. I personally like it. It would be great if they will could have a version which is a nickel plate or something like this, but one thing that I definitely like about this block, and now visually I'm confirming that, that uh, one thing that bothers me, I, I don't own an AMD system, but for the any AMD based versions of the block, usually you have this big honking piece of metal, like this AK block uh, mounting plate for HF Supreme, which is uh, just how it covers a big part of your motherboard, and uh, I think visually it's not doesn't look as good as Intel board but I with this version because they cut they cut uh, so much space around the block I think this is probably most nice looking mounting uh, mechanism visually for the AMD platform so if I would own AMD system that probably will be my number choice regardless performance characteristic just because it looks good right and you know guys I, I like nice stuff so uh, not much I can tell you I didn't try this block so I don't know uh, how well it performs but it looks really nice it's uh, probably heavier than uh, a uh, than heat killer and um, wholeheartedly recommend it to people who might consider cooling the AMD systems. Well, the last thing I would like to touch today is talk about our monthly prices at the store so everybody who place an order uh, will automatically enter draw to get some free stuff every month and uh, today is the last day for trying to get three of those drive break fans you can have a choice of the speed we have both uh, slow speed and mid speed versions no high speed yet maybe in next uh, month or so so and for the month of April we will be giving away 850 watts um, Cherokee 2 power supply which is a 80 plus silver certified model it's not um, modular version but one interesting thing about it is that the finish is exactly the same black nickel finish as you can see on most of the uh, nickel plated uh, fittings so if you have water cooling setup with uh, black nickel fittings that will be just looks really nice um, to all together 
and uh, if not, even if you don't water cool, you know, power supply is such a thing that always handy. And if you have computer, you have power supply. And 850 is pretty good, a decent uh, number for the majority of the people. So, uh, we also will have those power supplies in the store. We would like to see if there any interest for the stuff outside of traditional water cooling. And uh, if you're interested, we have two models, 850 and 1000. Uh, watts and um, both uh, models is the same uh, nickel uh, black nickel finish so that's it as new news coming up will make my next video we'll get more stuff hopefully this week and next week and uh, I will show all this new and exciting things I appreciate your feedback tell me what you'd like to see it will help me to determine uh, what's more interest and less interest in my videos and uh, recommend to your friends and subscribe uh, more people watching uh, make more sense for me to doing this thank you very much